booktube my name is Shannon and today I am very excited because I am sharing my TBR for the booktubeathon this year and I'm actually going to be participating as much as I can this year the past few years I've sort of participated by reading but I haven't done the video challenges and the Instagram challenges and this year I'm really trying to do the best I can to do those and so I'm super excited for the booktubeathon and I want to share with you the books that I'm planning on reading that I probably won't end up reading all of but hopefully. So these books are based on the challenges that Ariel Bassett has created for the booktubeathon this year and so they will fit each of those challenges. The first challenge is to read a book with a person on the cover and for this I've chosen Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets because I'm continuing my reread of the Harry Potter series and this is like really almost not the rules but Harry and Ron are in the flying car on the cover so I figure this does have a person on the cover and I really want to continue this reread throughout the booktubeathon. The next challenge is to read a very hyped book on booktube and for this I've chosen Because You Love to Hate Me which is a compilation of short stories with prompts written by booktubers and stories written by a bunch of different YA authors and I'm super excited to read this anthology. I posted about it on Instagram saying I was going to read it during the booktubeathon and I didn't even think about this until Raylene commented and was like, that's about the most booktube thing you could do, reading this during the booktubeathon and I was like, actually true. Um, but it's edited by Amory and I'm super excited to read this. I have been highly anticipating it. It's actually my most anticipated release of 2017 and it's very hyped because it's like the most booktube book in the world so I figured it was a perfect book to fulfill this challenge. The third challenge is to finish a book in one day and I don't do this very often but for a readathon I'll try my hardest and for this I've chosen Landline by Rainbow Rowell and I've loved all of Rainbow Rowell's YA contemporaries and carry on but I haven't read any of her adult novels yet and I feel ready to and I'm super excited to start this one and I figure since I love Rainbow Rowell's writing so much, I should be able to finish this in a day. The next challenge is to read a book about a character who is very different from you. And for this, I have chosen Something in Between by Melissa De La Cruz. And I've chosen this because it follows a Filipino immigrant and her family who apparently are illegally immigrated, have illegally immigrated into the country and they um, she has a bunch of scholarships, but then she's going, all of this is jeopardized by finding out that her family is actually illegally here. And this is a situation that I would probably never find myself in. Probably. But that has another B. Anyway, <laughs> and I want to see her perspective, and I figure she is probably from a very different background than me. The fifth challenge is to finish a book completely outside and everyone is going crazy because we're all readers and not a lot of us go outside a lot. <laughs> but I actually love the outdoors and so I'm not too worried about this one. And I've chosen to read Always and Forever Lara Jean by Jenny Han outside because this book is just probably going to be really cute like the others in its series and I really need to finish this trilogy and I thought it would be the perfect fun contemporary read to read outside in the summer. The sixth challenge is to read a book that you bought because of the cover and for this I have chosen Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, the official screenplay by JK Rowling. And hear me out, I love Harry Potter with all of my heart and soul but Honestly, since I have the movie and everything of this, I did probably buy the book mostly because it's a really pretty cover 
Um, but I do want to read through the script and just enjoy the little scene descriptions that are probably included within, and so I figured a readathon would be a perfect time to read a script since they're kind of a faster read than a novel. The last booktubeathon reading challenge is to read seven books, of course, and for this I have a few picks that I might choose from when it comes down to the end of the readathon or the middle, whenever I'm in the mood. And I would love to read the Booktubeathon pick for this year if it comes into my library for me in time, I put it on hold, or if I can get the ebook. We'll see what happens and whether I end up reading it or not. But that book is Juniper Lemon's Happiness Index, and I really think it sounds super fun. So regardless of whether I read it during the Booktubeathon, I probably will end up reading it at least the week after if it doesn't come in time. However, if it does not come in time, I have two other books that I can choose from, and they are Children of Eden by Joey Graceffa, which I've been meaning to read for a while and I got for Christmas, and Gregor the Overlander by Suzanne Collins. I cannot believe I haven't read this yet, and regardless of whether I end up reading it now during the Booktubeathon, I will end up reading it this summer. I promise I must read this book. Anyway, those are all of the books that I plan to read, hopefully during the Booktubeathon. I don't know if I'll actually be able to read all seven, considering that I'm also trying to do all the video challenges and all the Instagram challenges if I can, and I have a birthday party uh, during that week. But we will see what ends up happening. Hopefully I'll be able to vlog my reading days. It just really depends on how much time I end up having, but I am super excited to be participating and I am so excited to get more involved in the booktube community through this event. So I think that's about it for this video and I will see you next week with another one. Goodbye! When you forget to take a thumbnail and then you have to try and take a thumbnail and not drop all your books in a different shirt and different hair and makeup but you don't care because you've got to get this thumbnail and you're not changing all of that just for a thumbnail. Oh, and then there's also the fact that I did an arm workout yesterday and now I have to hold all of these books up here and I'm very sore and this is wonderful. <laughs>